Hey guys, it's Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to be painting lanterns in my Bible. And the verse I'm going to be painting on is Matthew 5, 14 through 16. I'm going to get into the verse and why I decided to paint lanterns later on in the video. But right now I wanted to show you this new Bible I bought. And the reason I bought a new Bible is because I've had my old Bible for over a year now and the pages are definitely filling up. And God put this verse on my heart and this painting idea on my heart. And I went to go paint it in my old Bible, but the page and the same verse was already taken. So that's happened to a lot of the verses that I felt I wanted to paint on or about. And so I decided it's time to buy a new Bible. And so I did. This is a crossway single column Bible. And I love the designs on the front. The leaves are so pretty. And I love this Bible because it has such a great amount of margin space. And here I'll show you it's already been taken that page and verse it was one of Rebecca R Jones's challenges so that's why I have a new Bible here and you can see how much room there is to journal or paint whatever you're gonna be doing I love the amount of space on the sides if you don't want to cover your words this is a great Bible and I definitely recommend it so I'm just gonna flip to the verse and get ready to start prepping my page I'm using the Liquitex matte gel and just putting it all over the page and what this does is just kind of puts a layer of protection on the page so that the colors don't bleed through. So you just layer that on and then use a heat tool to dry it all up. Now I'm going to pull out some colors that I want to use and a clear plastic sheet that I can put my colors on top of and use it as a palette without getting any on my table. So I started out using this kind of blue color, but later on, just in a few minutes, I kind of decided that I wanted to keep it more of a purple tone. So I end up covering all the blue up. And here I am laying down where I want my lanterns to be and just kind of mapping out where I think they should go. So I think now would be the perfect time to talk about the verse. Matthew 5, 14 through 16 says, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. I decided to paint lanterns for this verse because I just recently re-fell in love with the movie Tangled. It's probably one of my favorite Disney movies ever. It is so cute. And probably my favorite scene in that movie is the lantern scene because it's just so pretty and you just feel it in your heart. Your little heart box. I don't know. It's such a cute, cute scene. And as I'm watching this scene in this movie and thinking about the purpose of the lanterns, it really makes me think about the verse because in this movie, the purpose of the lanterns, explained in kind of a general way, is to bring the lost back to the king. So in this specific area of the movie, they're in a boat in the lake waiting to see the lanterns. And the part I really like about this is that all of the people of the town have gathered together and are bringing their lights, their their lanterns together to put up in the sky, hoping that she would see their light and be drawn back to the king. And why I like that so much and why it reminds me so much of the verse is because the verse is saying to let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. Let your light shine so that your father and your king can be seen by the lost. So the light you shine before others draws people to God like the lanterns drew Rapunzel back to the king. And that's just kind of how I see it, how I related the two together. And I just really think that's really cool how, how they kind of correlate a little bit. And that's basically why I decided to paint lanterns. That's what I got out of the verse and what God spoke to me as I was watching the movie. So while I was talking about the verse, I was just laying down a bunch of color. I was putting black and purple and pink, mixing all those together to create a background and blending them together. And now I'm taking out colors that I'm going to be using for the glow around the lanterns. Just putting some yellow around them. And then I'm going to be mixing a few colors for the lanterns. 
And at first I kind of mixed some red, orange, and pink together to make the color of the big lantern, as you can see in just a minute right here. And I didn't end up liking that completely, so I decided to just make them all just bright pink, just a straight flat pink. You can see I'm kind of covering it up right here, drying it, and then adding more layers of pink over the top. And I ended up liking that a lot better than I did the orange, red, yellow, pink mixture. <laughs> and a few times during this video, like right here, my head gets in the view. I apologize for that. I was really focused and was not paying attention at all to whether my head was in the frame or not. <laughs> So now I'm going over the lanterns with pen, uh, just so that they're easier to see. And I'm really doing it very messily. I think it looked kind of cool. You can't see them very well, but I'm doing it on the bigger one. And I kind of put like this flame design in the center. I went really crazy on the big one. I do not know why I put that much flame in the center of it. It's cool though. So I'm taking some soft chalk here and just kind of, it kind of puts like this hue. I don't even know how to explain it, like a fogginess over the, the page. I think it looked pretty cool. Put a little inside the lanterns. And it really did knock back the intensity of the pen. So I'm going to go over that in a minute after I sprinkle some white paint over the top. I think it looked kind of cool. Like I said, going over the lanterns so that they're the main focus of the page. And that's basically all I did for this. I'm drying it and then at the bottom I'm going to write the verse and the date. The um, the verse really did get covered up by the paint and I'm okay with that because this is my journaling Bible and I read out of a different one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!